a little disappointed not to come away with uh, six possible points out of that series. Yeah, absolutely. We talked about it all week. You know, we've had some winnable games in front of us, and we've talked about how hard the schedule has been all year. And when you have those opportunities that you should take, you gotta you gotta make it happen. So we were we weren't happy with the tie, and certainly not the shutout loss. Uh, but I was happy with the way we responded on uh, Saturday. I think the team maybe played down a little, in case of the team playing down to the competition on Friday and, and, and hopefully after, after the lesson learned that shouldn't happen again the rest of the year here? Yeah, I guess it's, it's probably a, a case of that and, and you know as you're building your confidence and you're used to playing up a level, um, it takes a certain level of uh, confidence and experience in, in winning games to be able to dictate the pace of play. So. Um, all that being said, moving forward, we're in a similar situation this weekend where we have winnable games that we need to take six points from. So um, hopefully we did learn something from that. What are the challenges you expect from Ohio State this weekend? I think uh, they had a weekend off last weekend, and this being the last one in 2015, they're going to be coming out hungry. We're going to their place, so that's always an advantage. Um, I think they're a pretty tough group. I think it's going to be a gritty game. I'd expect a lot of... Uh, special team situations and you know they're a couple points maybe one point whatever it is behind us in the standing so this these are critical games for them too what do you know about Jenny Potter uh, your experience with her uh, during your time out east uh, no never played against her she was at Trinity when I was at Harvard so different levels there but I mean I know she's a fierce competitor um, has been in the Olympics is very intense um, and, and her team will be ready to go and I would expect them to play with that sort of same attitude. I'm sure they're going to be coming at us hard and uh, they're going to play physical and, and they're going to find ways to, to make it very difficult for us. So I'd expect a good matchup. Right. Dance party. <laughs> <laughs> right. Just go through this, what do we do here? <laughs> Uh, Kayla, what did you see out of her in the two starts uh, against St. Cloud? Um, better on Saturday, like the rest of our team. Uh, but she was put in some tough spots on Friday, too, and she did come up big. I'm sure she would have liked to have done better in the shootout. Um, but again, our team, you know, we had to fight to get that tie. We just, everybody from back to front, we weren't, we weren't where we needed to be Friday to win. And I think St. Cloud is much improved, and I think you have to expect everybody in this league to, to be able to win if you're not going to show up. Um, so I like the way that our whole team, including Kayla, responded on Saturday, and it was great for her to get that shutout and become the seventh player in the WCHA, I think, to get uh, 20 or more shutouts. I know the kill struggled throughout the season. How do you carry over what you're able to do Saturday on the kill? Yeah, that's a great point. Uh, we were very happy with the way we responded on the kill as well. Um, I think, you know, we watched a lot of video in between periods, just breaking things down a little bit more and being very specific about where our breakdowns were happening. I think the kill is a real test of, of grit and toughness and, and sometimes mental toughness too when you get stuck out there for a while and figuring out how to make the little plays to get things done. So really we've been harping on that and I think they have more in those situations than they've been showing. And picking up sticks, clearing pucks, covering rebounds, it's very simple. Um, but, but again, I think when you're in the moment, it's having that mental toughness and that will to make that extra play, to get that puck and rip it out of the zone or whatever it is to help our goaltender find those pucks in front. And then after a weekend like this past one, what kind of, what kinds of things have you guys been focusing on in practice? Good question. Uh, we talked a lot about finishing 2015 on a good note with two wins. Again, two big winnable games. League games, we're lucky to be playing. A lot of teams are done for the semester. I'm all about positivity and building confidence, so those are things we're focusing on. Today we'll be doing a ton of special teams work, both power play and PK, because like I said, I, I think it's going to be a a special team sort of weekend so we want to be ready we've made some tweaks to our power plays to get our kids in the right spots um, where they're comfortable because we should be producing more on that I think you know our top line is one of the best lines in the in the country um, and we're not converting as much as we should on the power play so we got to make some tweaks and, and we're doing that and hopefully we get them into the spots where they can be successful have you seen 
the confidence kind of filtered down uh, from maybe the second to the third line through the first half of Saturday's game. It really didn't feel like that that top line was a top line. The, the other lines were playing pretty well. Yeah, and that, that's my goal is to get everybody playing with that sort of confidence, whether they're putting the puck in the back of the net or keeping it out of our net. I think there are a lot of little things in games that can build confidence. And if we get focused too much on the score sheet only, then it's going to be tougher. But I think those guys are playing with a lot more confidence. And nice to see Demi get a goal this weekend, Maria get a goal, Heels to finally get a goal, um, and some of those other kids. That's just going to make us better. Decided on Fridays, uh, Kayla or Maddie, you put Kayla back out there after a strong weekend? It's TBD. Okay. TBD.